Hello, it's Adam from Adam's Mockups. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this 3D vacuum sealed t-shirt mockup inside of Blender. And I'm also going to show you how you can use my files below if you do not have any Blender experience or any Blender knowledge to create this mockup for yourself. My Instagram for select custom commissions is at Adam's Mockups. For the cloth simulation, I'm using Marvelous Designer and for everything else, I'm using Blender 3D. You only need Blender 3D which is free and the download link is in the description below so once you have downloaded all of the files from the link in the description it's gonna look like this if you're not following this step by step and you just want to customize the t-shirt and you only need the top two blender files and customized graphics and logos but to show you how I made the t-shirt in marvelous designer I just dragged my t-shirt file into marvelous designer I'm just going to press this button up here and press show avatar and it's going to show the mannequin that the t-shirt is currently sitting on. I'm going to select that and press delete. I'm gonna select all of my individual pieces of fabric here, drag the t-shirt down, I'm gonna rotate it like so. And once I've got it in this kind of position, I'm gonna go up here to simulate fast GPU. I would actually recommend doing it on fitting, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do fast and it's just going to simulate like this so it should work just like a real t-shirt i'm just going to drag this around a little bit and kind of make some creases and some imperfections in the fabric for when it is inside the shrink wrap so it looks realistic check the bottom of it like this and i think that looks good so all you need to do is just make sure that up here in the uv editor so you can drop it down like this and press uv editor you want to make sure that your uv is all nicely made you will see later in this video how i use this uv to customize the t-shirt so you want to make sure that is all neatly organized up there then select your t-shirt top left file export obj you want to do multiple objects and set the scale to millimeters at one percent and press OK and that is going to export your t-shirt model create the vacuum seal or packaging look what I did was just import my t-shirt into blender find where it was saved scale it down I press s and 0.1 I'm gonna rotate it on the X axis to make sure that it is upright then I just added a cube and I scaled my cube by pressing S and scaling it along the X and Y axis, just shaping it to make sure that it is tightly surrounding my t-shirt model. To create your shrink wrap, you want to go into edit mode by pressing tab on your keyboard and then select the loop cut tool. You want to make sure that you have about 40 loop cuts. That's personally what I have. And you just want to hover around the front face, find your line across the Y axis and left click and find your line across the X axis and left click. You now want to press this button in the top left to select the faces. Hold Alt and select one of the faces on the side of your rectangle like this. Press delete and delete only faces and this will delete the edge of your rectangle. In the top left again, want to select the middle box which will select all of the edges and holding alt you just want to select all of the edges of both faces like I am doing here just going through holding alt and selecting each edge once you have done this in the bottom right you want to go to the vertex groups tab press the plus in the vertex group box just press assign and if you press deselect and select you will see it deselecting and selecting and you will see that it has worked once your cube is the right shape, you want to select your cube and apply a cloth modifier. You want to go through, you can keep your quality steps at five. You want to enable pressure and set the pressure to 10. I'm gonna set the end of my simulation to hundred frames. This can be anything really. I'm gonna enable sewing. I'm going to enable self collision. I'm gonna decrease the distance to the minimum 0.001 meters. And I'm going to set my gravity to zero. As for my t-shirt, I'm just going to apply a collision modifier. For the sake of the video, I am actually going to swap my t-shirt out for the basic monkey model in Blender as the t-shirt is very high poly and takes a long time to simulate. This is why I recommend using all of my files that I have linked in the description as all of the simulating and all of the stuff I'm doing now is done for you and all you need to do is customize the t-shirt.
and if I press play, you can see now it has inflated and I now have a perfect pillow. I have applied a clear balloon material to my packaging or shrink wrap. Once you have your pillow and you are happy with how it looks, you want to go inside the modifiers panel, click the drop down menu on the right hand side and press apply. You now want to go back into your physics tab and apply another cloth modifier. If you see your pillow disappear, this is because you are not at frame one. So you want to go back to the first frame. You want to turn the gravity to zero, turn on self collisions, turn on sewing. This time you're going to press on pin group and select the edges that you created earlier. You want to set the end of your animation to 100, turn on pressure and turn it down to minus 15 and turn your quality steps up to 10. Once this is complete and you press play, you will see you have now created your vacuum sealed effect, but it is not smooth and it is made out of a bunch of squares. So you want to go into your modifiers tab and just apply a subdivision surface modifier and set the levels viewport to three. And now you can see you have a highly realistic shrink wrap effect that looks just like it would in real life and apply a plastic color to my monkey then you can see there and here's how it looks with the t-shirt model instead of the monkey i'm now going to open up my easy to customize blender file that i have linked in the description i'm going to double click on this and it's going to open up in blender 3d as you can see you can pretty much do anything you want inside of here and I'm going to show a complete beginner how they can use this file and customize it for their clothing brand. Firstly if you want to add any sort of design to your t-shirt then you want to open up my template that I have included in the link below in either Photopea which is free and online or Photoshop and you just want to use my template and place your graphics where you want them on the t-shirt and export this file as a PNG. You just want to make sure that when you export you have hidden all of the other layers except for your graphics. We're now going to hop back into Blender so once you have Blender open in the top right you're going to see these five different tabs. Top one we have the vacuum pack T where you will find the packaging and the t-shirt both of which are fully customizable which I will show you in a second. These are just a bunch of example t-shirts that you can have a look at for inspiration. Then we have customizable backgrounds where we have a bunch of preset color backgrounds which you can also change to any color you want. Next we have camera angles where we have six to seven camera angles that you can choose from. You can easily switch between them by just pressing the little green camera icon. And lastly we have the lighting tab which has all of the lights that we are using in this scene which you can toggle on and off. So if we hop into our customizable t-shirt and I will show you how you can customize it. Once you have clicked on your t-shirt, you want to click on the materials tab in the bottom right and you will see the two materials. The top one is the color of your t-shirt and the second one is the color of your stitching. So here I have selected the second one which is the stitching and you can see me just changing the color here. I recommend you just keep this the same color as your t-shirt which is green currently. And here I have selected the top material from the tab in the bottom right and I'm just toggling between a bunch of different colors to pick which color I want. To add your design to your t-shirt you just want to select your t-shirt, make sure you are in the shading tab and you will see here I'm just pressing down the middle mouse button to drag around and scroll up and down to zoom in and out. You just want to delete the graphics image that is already there and this will make your mock-up go a weird color but it will get rid of your graphic. If you want to use no graphic or no design then you want to delete this bump node, set your image alpha to zero and then there you go now you just have a plain green t-shirt but if you do want to add graphics then you want to undo that, get your bump node back, drag in your graphics that you made earlier, plug your color into normal and your alpha into graphic image alpha and now my graphics are on the back and you can just adjust the size and keep plugging it in and tweaking it until it is perfect. If I zoom in here you can see I can change a bunch of details for my graphics so I can make them shiny or more matte so if I make this 100 then it's going to be matte and if I make it zero then it's going to be shiny. If I turn the normal strength up as you can see it goes black if I set it to 10 but say I set it to 1 
then the graphic has the same material as the t-shirt. So if you want it to look like that, then you can leave it like that. But personally, I like to set it to zero, so it looks like more of a graphic on top of the t-shirt, or maybe a little bit of both at 0.3. As for changing your backgrounds, you just want to go into the customizable background tab and you want to select the little eye and camera icon to show which background that you want to show behind your mock-up. And there we go. So we have the blue one activated right now. Now I can hide that and show the green one. And if I want to change the color of one of them, then I just click on it and go inside of here like before and change it to any color that I want. I'm going to set this back to green. Then we have the camera angles, which I showed you earlier, but you can just press the little green camera icon and it will swap between all of the different camera angles. See, this one's like a bird's eye view kind of diagonal camera angle or this one is just facing directly from the front. Finally, you have your lighting, which are all of the lights that we are using in the scene. I have some of them hidden, but you can make them show and it's gonna be more light, but I'm going to hide them again. And you can just click on each light and inside the little light bulb here, you can increase the power of each light and I can change the color of each of the lights. Finally, to render your design, you want to go into the layout tab. You want to click on the packaging or the shrink wrap. The t-shirt is parented to the shrink wrap. So any rotation or any animation you apply to the packaging will also apply to the t-shirt. So you want to click on your t-shirt and here I have pressed I and applied a rotation. I've gone to the 120th frame, pressed R, pressed Z for the Z axis and typed 360 to rotate 360 degrees and pressed I again and applied another keyframe and that is how I created this rotation effect. You can move these to make the animation longer or shorter. Here you can change the size of your camera. So say I change the Y to 1920. Now it's like this. I can go into the little camera icon here and change the focal length of my camera. All of these things can be keyframed, but I'm sure there is more in depth videos on how to keyframe in Blender. Once you have everything set up, you just want to go into the output folder, select where you want your animation or images to save. If you want to save as a PNG, select PNG. If you want as a video, select FFmpeg video. You want to go up here to render and either render image or render animation. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be replying to every single one of them. The link to my shop where I sell all of my 2D and 3D digital assets is linked below. And I hope to be showing you something else soon. Thanks for watching.